this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! We've got a lot of elements to trap today, so let's get to it and find links. You may want to look at my setup in the uh, video description there, because I've changed it quite a bit. So let's turn off this thing, uh, or we could fight this guy. Okay, fair enough. What is that thing, anyway? It's like a smiley pinwheel thing. Whatever it is, I, I don't know. Well, first things first. We want to set an element trap. There we go. Uh, let's set Holy Lights, because this guy will cast it, and this is a very good element. It's the first opportunity we have to get it, so let's do that. And, uh, yeah, let's build up our element power. This guy's not nearly as annoying as uh, his predecessor in the previous game, but still, pretty annoying a little bit. Because uh, with this guy, well, he has very high defense, as you can tell. I'm just trying to build up my element power for now. And uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of HP, though. So he shouldn't be too hard. But still, it's a bit, little annoying. What the hell are you doing? You're going to kiss Glenn. Uh, okay. Can I have a turn? Okay, now the way this guy works is he, uh, every time you damage him a little bit, he'll, or not damage him, every time he goes through like a sequence of casting elements, once he's done, he'll try to cast, or he'll change modes like he did there. Uh, I'm just gonna cast any element, whatever, just to break up the element field for now. You don't wanna leave it all white, so keep an eye on that. But what, I'm, what I want to do uh, is get him to change modes to something else. Um, like right now he's in, if you see the smiley face there, he's in happy mode. Uh, if you, if you uh, well, let's cast the diminish while we're at it. But we want to get him to change to, uh, well he'll have a blank expression on his face. That's the mode we want him to switch to. Uh, it's random, whatever he switches to. He can also switch to a frowning expression or an angry expression. If he's in a blank expression, he'll eventually cast... Uh, holy Light, which is what I want. So what I'll probably eventually do is uh, I'll try to get him to switch modes one more time. If that doesn't work, then uh, well, I'll just off-screen fighting him for a little while and staying alive so that uh, I can get to his blank expression to show you him casting Holy Light there and trapping it there eventually. Are you going to do anything? There? Oh, he's going to do that again. Okay, fair enough. Apparently, he likes going both ways. Oh, and that inflicted a status on Kid. Something, uh, I don't know. Ah, darn it, it's the same thing. Okay, well, I'll just, uh, fight him a little longer, and, uh, I'll meet you in a moment when, uh, I got, uh, a different expression on Son of a Gun's face. Okay, there we go. We've got him into a blank expression. That's that, that's what we wanted there. So now what I want to do is, uh, well, let's continue on. Oh, now let's change the, I don't like, get out of there. Zoom in mode. There we go. That was bothering me. I learned something new while fighting this guy. Apparently, if Surge and Glenn have enough uh, element power built up, and one of them is asleep, I can still use X-Strike, even though uh, Surge was asleep there for a moment there, which is kind of weird. That shouldn't happen, but because Glenn was able to select X-Strike, even Surge was getting in on the action while he was asleep, so that was kind of weird. Uh, yeah, I don't need to worry about the element field because I'm going to trap Holy Light from this. Uh, let's just move on. Okay, there we go. Yay! We trapped Holy Light. I think I almost got him sagging there. No, no, I don't. Okay, well, what I want to do now... Yeah, yeah, he is sagging there. Okay, well, what I want to do is uh, take a moment to get two more Holy Lights. I can even run because I don't want to kill him off here. So I'm probably just going to run from the battle, go back, get two more Holy Lights, and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, we've got uh, all of our holy lights there, so... Oh, we got a frowning uh, guy, I guess, so let's take him now. 
Uh, basically, oh, I suppose I could use um, Eagle Eye and Strengthen, actually, if I can actually remember to do that. Yeah, it, when he's in uh, Frowning uh, mode, I guess, if you want to call it that, he'll cast, like, Weak-Minded. Uh, what else does he do? I think he does something else. Even though Surge is White Elemental, he still seems to deal the most damage to this guy. Kind of weird, but uh, that's the way it is. Let's have Glenn uh, Eagle Eye him. With Eagle Eye and Strength, I should be able to take this guy out pretty quickly. And uh, oh, there we are. Does that add to the white, the mode change? Or the element field? Yes, it does. Oh, better watch out for that. Okay, Eagle Eye Surge, and we'll be ready to go. And uh, let's see. If I didn't say so earlier, I cast the Minish. Uh, after running away, obviously I had to uh, re-establish that. And, okay, there we go. Now, this guy can also cast Meteor Shower, but uh, no nothing too hard to worry about as long as you keep on breaking up the element field. Will this guy die normally, unlike the Taurusoid? Yeah, my uh, game decided to take a piss on the Taurusoid, apparently. Yeah, when he was lying down there with it smiling like that, it kind of reminded me how the Joker died in uh, the 1989 Batman movie. You know? <laughs> you know, like that. I mean, not like they did in The Dark Knight. I mean, the writers of that movie, it, it was like, okay, uh, Joker kills some people, Batman captures him, Joker escapes, Joker kills some more people, Batman captures him, and then the writers are like, okay, is that enough to fill up two hours? Yeah, okay, let's just wrap it up and stop it there. It just seemed like they just arbitrarily said, okay, let's stop there. You know, it's like, why stop there? Why not just keep on going? Why not have him escape again? Why not do that in the next movie? You know, it's just, I, I like the movie overall. I mean, I had fun watching it, but that particular part just kind of bothered me a little bit. Yeah, I just pissed off about half of my subscribers, huh? <laughs> oh well, as long as everyone's having fun watching the videos. Huh, there's some broken eggs in here. There's nothing in this one. Hmm. Well, there's nothing we can do in here. Yet. We'll wait for that until... Well, not, we could do it not too much later in the game, but I'm probably not going to do it until way later in the game. So, just, let, just remember that for the future viewers. Uh, can I go up now? Oh, I gotta step off and then go up. Okay, there we go. I think at this point, Lena now has a level 6 element slot, so if you want to, uh, you know, put Iceberg on here, you can. Oh, hey, I remember this place. Maybe I shouldn't be bringing Kid with me, huh? Let me know if you want me to bring Kid along for, uh, the final sequence here. It, it changes things a little bit. Not significantly, but there's a little bit of different dialogue. Huh. Well, there's the last one, but we can't get down there. Well, remember, just like we did in the intro, it's the same thing. So, should be pretty easy. Gotta watch out for those uh, robots, though. Or dragoons. Huh. I don't remember seeing them here. They weren't here the last time. Are you gonna attack me or what? Well, we might as well fight these guys. Uh, they look the same as the ones you fought earlier, but they are clearly not. They are even stronger than they were ever before! Well, not that much stronger, but, uh, well, they're different. And they're red elemental now for some reason. I wish I could change my elements. But no, the game won't let me. Luminaire! Yeah, I suppose I could show off Holy Light now. But, uh, well, we'll have plenty of time to show that off eventually. The interesting thing about Holy Light is that it automatically kills anything that's undead. And it should be pretty easy for you to tell what's undead and what's not. I think it's guaranteed to kill them instantly. I'm not sure, but uh, I, every time I've used it, it's always killed them in one hit automatically there. So, yeah, let's head down here and uh, see how we can turn off that black pillar there. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!